my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video six, the flip through of Torn Edges, which is my Line Dot Arrow August of 2022 design team project. Now you'll notice there's a paper clip on there. It's on there on purpose. I didn't forget. And you'll also notice that um, this book does not have a traditional cover. So what I've done is I have made a feature page, that's what I call them, um, and I've used that as the cover. Now, we did different pages in the five videos of this series, and so there are three additional pages in here that I did off camera. So I marked on here which ones were the ones we did in the videos so you would know. Now this was video five. And when you untie it, yes, it's just this page that has the tie, not the whole book. A little bit of an optical illusion. Um, you open this up, and there's a side tuck with a writing card. There's also a belly band right here with a card. It's a little hard with these torn edges here to get everything done. Oh, it looks like I... Oh! That's why, because this is an envelope that opens up into a writing space. So we'll have to go back and double check on that one. I thought I checked everything. And then when you open this up, then there are the diagonal pockets. These are writing cards. Everything should be printed on the back. So you can write on it, it either has the grid lines or it's just um, coffee dyed paper. When you take this out here, you unfold it to expose a writing space, a very large one. Whoops. This is why you're never supposed to take the cards out, right? Because they don't want to go back. There we go. And on this side are two large tags and another envelope that I printed on. And it opens into a writing space. I believe that one opens all the way. I don't know why the first one didn't. So you flip this back and you flip this back and then you tie it shut. Which I am just going to do this because, let's see if I can do it. No, oh, well when I do it quick I can do it. Note to self. Then you open it, and you have a simple flip-up page. Let me put this video 5 back on here. And this one I did off camera, so the pocket holds two tags. Then you just flip it up, and there's an up tuck with a card. And then there's a card here in the large pocket. And then there's a beautiful flutter by. That's why I didn't cover it up. Then you have coffee dyed paper. It's been torn on the edges and inked. Then this is printed coffee dyed paper with a pocket, two tags, writing on the back. This was video two. You'll notice I have write written on here. That's because when we made the pages, they were uh, they were all separate and so I had to make a note to myself whether I had to put it on a right side page or a left side page for everything to work. So now on here um, there's the tap there's a pocket here but there's actually a pocket behind as well. So you have two pockets there. Then you uh, have a tag here and then you flip this open and there's a tag here or a little writing card here. And then this is a pocket here, which I thought I had a little tag in there, but I guess I didn't. So, oh, that's the one from the front. <laughs> Practice your flip throughs, people. And then there's a card here that comes out. And then this is a large tuck spot that holds a writing card. <laughs> Sometimes I just crack myself up, I tell you what. And then this card holds everything shut. I 
I, um, on a side note, I making these pages separate and using the decalage trimmer to uh, make all the pages um, appear to be torn, which was the secret. Um, I also discovered that for some reason, that and probably because of the thickness of the pages, that when I just folded a piece of paper in half, because this is what the original pages were going to be, obviously this was going to cover and this was going to be a border, the pages and or the papers ended up being larger than the pages. So what I did was I substituted a manila folder and that way I was able to cut that on the deck ledge to the deck ledge trimmer. This is video one and I call this my uh, belly book and this is a bookmarker that comes off. It's held on by a magnet and there's a card inside with a triangle window you set this to the side. There's a writing card. There's another traditional belly band with a writing card underneath. And like I said, everything has got um, either torn edges or the appearance of torn edges. I thought I would go with the theme. Um, except for the centerpiece here because this is a um, ephemera piece that comes with the kit. And I sewed it shut with a three-hole pamphlet stitch with um, black thread and then on, this was video four and I forgot to put the video thing back on what is up with me just because these are reference books for me I don't give my books away really unless I have a drawing at the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group if you go there you also get a written PDF on how to make all these pages to go along with the videos. Um, this was video four. This little tag comes out. I love this picture. Then this here is a pocket. There's an actual notebook that goes in here. It's made with coffee dyed paper. Just a little tear away notebook. Then when you open this, it's held on by a magnet. So you open this. On the back side is a tag held on by a tuck. On the side note, that covers the magnet on the back side. All these papers are double side printed. And there's a belly band holding a writing card. I'm going to put it back this time. Then on this side, this is just a basic uh, pocket page. I did this one off camera. And it's just got a writing card and two tags and a small cluster. This is the only thing in here. I was going to give you guys a, a, a little pop quiz to see if you could find the only thing in here that was not uh, torn edged. And that was uh, because this is the, in the um, center of the die cut of the triangle window in the previous page. I don't remember how far back it was. So since we're on the second half of the signature, this is the other side of the writing paper. There's also a pocket on this side with two tags. Here's the other side of our coffee dyed paper. This is our last uh, inside page and um, it is a um, page that I made off camera and it's just a belly band with a card and then there's a little teeny weeny belly band right here and this little card comes out on the back page this was video three and you undo the policy closure which is glued under the under the page there's no bottom half to this Oops, I just made it tighter. There we go. When you open this up, there's a tag here. You open this up and there's a tag here. And then in the center is an envelope. And then stationery that I printed on regular typewriter paper. and it matches the page.
So that's the book. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the non-traditional cover. This page was inspired by um, Mandy over at Sunflower Indoors. But um, I pretty much ch <laughs> changed most of the things about it. But I'd like to thank her for giving me that basic idea for the page. As you know, I grab ideas and then change them and make them my own. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.